We hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. And to show you guys my appreciation, I'm gonna be telling you guys the four step method that I use to get to my first 1,000 subscribers. And it's what I'm gonna continue to use to get to my 2,000 subscriber goal, 5,000, 10,000, 100K, so on and so forth. So get ready for this heat. First, I wanna give you guys a little disclaimer. This video is not about being more consistent and you gotta post more content and you gotta focus on your title and thumbnail a lot. Those things are very important, yes, but I feel like those things are very well known. Everybody knows that you gotta be consistent to get your subscribers up, to get your numbers up. You have to have a good title, you have to have a good thumbnail. I feel like this is common knowledge. And if you didn't know it, you know now, but that's not what the focus of this video is. I'm gonna be showing you guys the other step-by-step -step methods and process that it takes to really make a video that allows you to grow your channel. So without further ado, let's get into this blueprint that got me my first 1,000 subscribers. Let's go. So before we get into step one, I have to give you guys the most important bonus tip of your life, but the bonus is at the beginning today. Your mindset matters. Your mindset before you start a channel, before you make a page matters. It is everything. You have to have a strong mind. You have to be ready to run through a wall for your page. I made a video about this when I was around 280 something or 240 something subscribers. It's called how to be successful when starting from nothing. I literally made that video to showcase the mindset that I had going into this journey and the mindset that I continue to have today and that I'll continue to have tomorrow and forever going forward with this channel. So go check out that video. It's very important. Master your mindset. Be strong. Be unstoppable. Be undeniable. I'll also make a video on the mindset by itself, following what it's like for me, thinking now that I have a thousand subscribers and so on. But you gotta keep it going. So that's that's the first most important thing that you need to have as a bonus before we get into all these other tips. All right, these steps are listed in order of importance, but I don't think that there's any step here that's not important. If you don't follow something, your channel can crumble. So you still need to follow everything, but I'm telling you the most important thing right here, step number one is your video idea. Your video idea carries so much weight, guys. You need to be making sure that you're making a video on a topic that is trending, on a topic that is highly searched, you're fixing a problem, you're giving solutions to something that you know people already have interest in, something that you know is gonna elicit emotions from your viewers. Nobody cares about you, nobody cares about me yet, right? If they don't know who you are, they're only gonna watch your video for whatever that idea or topic is that has generated their interest and they know, oh, I gotta click on that. Oh, they're talking about something that's trending. I wanna talk about this thing that's trending. You're covering it, they're gonna watch your video. If you're answering a question that a lot of people are searching up and they don't have a lot of answers online, but you're the one video to give them an answer, guess what? They're gonna click on your video, they're gonna watch your content, and you might get yourself a new subscriber. You have to put so much thought into your video idea because it carries so much weight, and you cannot slack off on this. Don't go into your channel thinking, I'm just gonna make a bunch of videos on a bunch of stuff that I wanna make. Like, oh, I just wanna record myself playing this game and it's really fun, so I think that's gonna do well. Nobody cares about your, your WWE 2K24 online match 13. Like, that, that doesn't tell them anything. They're not searching for online match number 13. They're not searching for anything specific like that. What are they searching for? What is trending? Really important to really follow trends because when something's trending, you need to jump on the wave immediately. The faster you do it, the better. It's gonna yield so much better results for you. I'm telling you, your idea is super important. I'll give you guys an example from my channel. A lot of people wanted to know, one, if Brock Lesnar was gonna be in the new WWE 2K24 game. Two, they wanted to know how to get him. I made two separate videos, a video called The Truth About Brock Lesnar in WWE 2K24, which I tell you whether or not he is in the game. I give you that information. That's what people were looking for, right? And then the second video is giving information on how to download him and get him yourself in the game. Two things that people were looking for, two videos that have generated me a ton of success, especially one downloading Brock, got over 10,000 views on the channel and has generated me some subscribers, right? So you guys, make sure you are posting about things that people care about. Everything you do after your video idea, even if you follow step two, three, and four, if your video idea sucks, if your video idea is only for yourself, if it's not for the audience, if it's not to generate more interest in your channel and more emotions out of the viewer, if it's not something you yourself would click on, then probably don't make a video on it, all right? So that is step number one. 
Sorry to interrupt, but just as a side note, if you're not sure that people are gonna be interested in your video idea, then the odds are people are likely not gonna be interested in your video idea. Because if it was a topic that people would guarantee be interested in, you would know. Like if I made a video saying that I did 100 pull-ups in 30 seconds, I know for a fact that people are gonna watch that video just to find out, is that even possible? He's lying. No way he did 100 pull-ups in 30 seconds. And then you click on my video and then I got the views and there it is. All right, back to the video. Step number two, your hook is extremely important, guys. It is far more important than having some fancy editing, some in-depth editing that makes your video just look really nice visually and everything like that. Your hook is literally as soon as somebody clicks on your video, what is the first thing that you said in the video? What is the first 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds of your video? Your hook has to be you promising the viewer that you are going to deliver on exactly what your title says the video is about, exactly what your thumbnail suggests the video is about. They want to know that they are here for the right thing. Once you tell them in the beginning you are here for the right thing, then they're gonna stick around to watch the rest of the video. In this video, I immediately started off with, I have a thousand subscribers, right? So one, you, I now have credibility with you guys because you know, okay, this guy has what I want. So now I've confirmed to you guys that I've achieved the goal that you're looking to get to, right? And then what I did right after that, after I said thank you, I immediately went to, I'm gonna show you guys the four step process that I use to get to 1,000 subscribers. I told you what's in the video, I told you what's coming, and now you're like, okay, he told me it's exactly four steps, he told me what's gonna be in this video, I wanna watch it, I wanna know what all four steps are. And guess what, you've made it to this point in the video, you're checking it out, this is the steps that I use, I'm using it even in this video, guys, I'm showing you guys the keys, the secrets. Your hook is important, do not waste your time when you start your video off by saying, hey, what's up guys, my name is, no, 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 no. Nobody cares what your name is. I didn't click on your video. You didn't click on my video because you wanted to know what my name is. You clicked on my video because you read the title, you saw the thumbnail, I told you that it was about something, so you clicked on it, and when, when it started, I confirmed to you that it is about the thing that I told you that it's about. So that's why you're still here. When you make videos, make sure your hook is exactly like that. You will lose the people's attention. They will click off your video if you started with anything else other than confirmation that your video is about what you said it's about or credibility to show that you have the thing that the person is looking for. You have to let them know that yes, you are here for the right thing. You have come to the right place. I'm gonna show you exactly what you want and let's get into it, okay? So don't waste your hook. This is extremely important. If your hook is trash but your idea is great, say you spend the first 30 seconds talking about about absolutely nothing no, nobody's gonna watch even if your video is great after that so please focus a ton on your hook step number three the value of your video so step number one was the idea you want it to be something that people are already interested in you want it to elicit emotions out of the viewer step two was get the hook right you want to confirm to them that this is what the video is about but step three the actual value now we're at the meat and potatoes I told you guys my video is about this right in the title and thumbnail I told you that in the hook now in the value I have to make sure that I'm delivering on the promise that I gave you because if you're watching the video and I made all these promises and you're not getting any of the promises that I gave you you're still gonna click it off you're still not gonna like the video you're still not gonna share it you're not gonna subscribe to the channel it is important that you deliver on the value that you told the viewer that they will get from your video now I get it sometimes you're gonna want to do clickbaity things you're gonna want to say something to entice them to come to the video and that's okay sometimes as long as you're not veering too far off from what you said you were gonna give them I can't tell tell you that I'm making a video about how to cut oranges but I'm showing you how to how to cook a steak right I, I can't do that those are two separate things the value in the video is diminished because I lied to you and now I don't have trust with you right but you sure some people exaggerate their titles and you say things that are like very very extreme but your video is still about the thing that you were being extreme about right like those are special cases where it's like okay like you're, you're you're walking a fine line, but the person could still stay for your video. But do not lie to your viewers. Give them what they want 
which is the title, the thumbnail, the hook, and then give them what they need, right? You gotta give them what they need so they know what they need to get to their goals. They know what they need to get whatever it is that you're saying that you're gonna give them. And you know what? Your video is not always gonna be educational, right? When I say give them what they need, it's not always gonna be, I'm teaching you to do this thing. I'm not telling you to make all your videos about, I'm teaching you this, right? I said, make it highly search things. Highly search things can be entertainment. It could be things that they enjoy, that they're very invested in, right? As long as when they come for that entertainment or that teaching moment, whatever it is, that you are giving exactly that, and that is what the content of your video holds, then the person's gonna enjoy it, they're gonna like it, you were truthful to them, they came, they stayed, they subscribed, you have a new subscriber. It is very important to do this, guys. Deliver on your value, do not lie to your viewer. And also, it is far more important than having fancy editing once again. And that is actually step number four. Step number four is to keep your editing simple. Guys, I know we all want to make videos that like look visually pleasing, right? And a lot of us make fancy edits and things like that because you want to keep the attention span of your viewer. I understand a lot of people have short attention spans. If they're looking at something too long for, for too long of a period of time, they're not going to want to stay on the video because they just get bored too fast, right? And you know, that sucks in that way. But what the person is here for more than the editing is the value. The value is what matters way more than the editing. So if you have a bunch of fancy edits, but you're not delivering on what you said you were gonna give them, it does not matter how great your editing is. Let me tell you from personal experience, it is the worst possible feeling to make a video, spend hours, I mean hours on every possible edit you can make, putting as much pictures you could put in, much B-roll film, like, you know, other videos and stuff that cover you when I'm talking. Like, it, it, doing everything possible to just make sure your video is always changing imagery. It's always changing imagery because you want to keep their attention, right? And you spend all those hours, you finish it up, you're like, yo, this video is a banger, it's awesome, like, it's gonna kill it, right? But guess what? Your video idea was trash. Nobody cares about the idea in the first place. So nobody's gonna click on the video. They weren't looking for it, it doesn't fix any problems, it's just something that you were interested in. Nobody's gonna watch it. It doesn't matter that I spent 20 hours on my video. Nobody's gonna watch it. Or say the video idea was a banger, but my hook was garbage, right? So the first 30 seconds to one minute, the beginning of my video, I didn't tell them, hey, this video does have the thing that I told you it's gonna have. So yeah, stick around to watch that. No, I started my video by saying, hey, my name's Jay Athletic Gaming. Guess what? They clicked off. They didn't get to see any of those edits anyway. I've wasted my time, guys. So yes, guys, editing can be amazing once you have step one, the great or trending video idea. Step two, the amazing hook for your video that reels them in instantly. Step three, delivering all the value. Once you have all three of those things, yes, you could do what you want with your editing, but I'm telling you to keep it simple because it's not as important as the other three things that I've listed, okay? So keep it simple also to save yourself time because when you spend too many hours on editing, you get exhausted and you don't wanna make any more videos because I, I just spent like 10 hours editing this video. I wanna take a break. And guess what? As we said at the beginning, we already know that consistency is a major key in making videos. So you wanna be able to continue to pump out videos as much as you possibly can and not get tired and exhausted from doing all this extra work that you really didn't need to do because the person would have watched your video regardless because you followed steps one, two, and three. So I'm not saying don't edit your videos, but literally keep it simple. Like do everything that you need to do to make the video get to the point as fast as possible. The number one editing tip I could give you is to make sure that you edit the video down to the point where you get to the point soon. You get to the point soon. If there's part in your video where you're stumbling, where you stuttered, you cut it out. That's simple editing. Cut it out if I stutter. Cut it out if I said the wrong thing, I didn't mean to say that thing. Cut it out if I'm saying information that doesn't really matter or if I went off topic or whatever the case may be. That is what you wanna do with your editing. Just be concise with your content and literally just size it down to what it needs to be so it automatically gives the viewer everything that they need okay you need to do that keep it simple if you want to show imagery you can show pictures you don't have to show 20 pictures in 10 seconds because then it takes a lot of time to put that in your video you don't need to do all that just make sure that you get to the value quickly and that the editing allows that to happen i'm telling you right now i've already messed up a billion times recording this video but guess what 
I've taken the time in my editing process to cut down the parts where I stumble on my words or to restart my statement when I messed it up and I just cut that all down and that's the final product that you're gonna get when you see this video. So just make sure your editing is simple. Don't overcomplicate it because you want to be able to produce a lot of videos and not just get upset because you spent so much time on a video that guess what? It ultimately failed and flopped because you didn't follow the first three steps. And you thought editing was the major key. Keep it simple. Don't make it too hard on yourself, guys. Now let's see how I applied that to this video. Step one, come up with the great video idea that everybody cares about. A lot of people wanna know how to get 1,000 subscribers and I give a four step method exactly on how to do that. Now let's look at the other steps I followed in this video. We hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. And to show you guys my appreciation, I'm gonna be telling you guys the four step method that I use to get to my first 1,000 subscribers. Step number one is your video idea. Step number two, your hook is extremely important. Step number three, the value of your video. Step number four is to keep your editing simple. So yeah, guys, that is my four step process that I use to get my first 1000 subscribers on YouTube. This is literally throughout many failed YouTube channels, failed fitness channel, failed just, just every channel. I have a failed motivational talking channel. Literally, I failed so much and I feel like I could finally share this with you guys because I, I like finally cracked the code and hit a goal that I've had for years, like years of my life. So I wanted to share that with you guys. If you haven't seen my video on how to become successful when starting from nothing, right? I wanted to show you guys me at the bottom before you see me at the top. And now you see me rising. That video is still there. I'm gonna keep making videos throughout this progress to show you the mindset that it takes in order for you to be successful. So if you haven't seen it, Go check that video out, guys. If you're new to the channel, I do do sports gaming and sports discussions on this channel. A lot of wrestling content and basketball content like NBA 2K, stuff like that. But also now, I guess I make somewhat motivational videos or helpful videos on the goal and the journey to getting your subscribers up or hitting your goals because that matters to me too. So I'm gonna continue to share that with you guys as my channel grows. So if you did enjoy, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe to J Athletic Gaming and I'll catch y'all in the next one.